doing another road trip, Jay. <laughs> what do you think of British vehicles? <laughs> Look at this beast. Which way is the rally stage then? Where the f are we going, man? <laughs> Good morning everybody. We got Sleepy Donkey, Sleepy Jamie K. As you guys know, we kind of ended the vlog last night. We got back at 5.30. Just gone. Yeah. 5 o'clock, 5.30. And we were absolutely fried, but we made it. And the store is back in Germany. Ooh. We had an interesting experience with the uh, German police. Yeah. It was a good laugh, I'm not gonna lie. They're actually lovely people to be fair. We're gonna go and grab some wheels in a sec for the Sora. Then after that, we're gonna go and see Nessie's brother, Mr. Lars. He's actually got a little workshop and a ramp and we're going to attempt to do the geometry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he said he, he didn't set it up, so. Yeah. I'll put a look at the setup. And you've actually got a mate, haven't you, with a, a big horsepower Sora on Wisefab? Yeah, Andy, um, forgive me, Andy, I don't know how to pronounce your surname. <laughs> very German surname. About 700 horsepower 2J Sora Sick. with Wisefab, so we'll um, ask him about some settings and. Uh, Get like a rough idea on it, sort of. Yeah. Thing. Next update the van. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, we made it. Yeah. So you can't really fault the party van for that, but yeah, it's she, she she put in a good innings. Yeah. If you guys remember back in Rockingham, um, the van started chuffing, the injector started chuffing, and we've got the same problem again. Basically, the engine is fubar. Lars is going to try and help us find a replacement engine. Big shout out to Alec as well in Hungary. He kindly tried to source us an engine. We didn't actually have enough time to go and see him. Um, but yeah, massive props to him. He was an absolute legend. First thing we're going to do is just check the. Um, Oh, yeah, it's lost about oh, a quarter. Yeah, about a quarter now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Coolant is good. What we originally thought was like a massive oil leak. There is a bit of an oil leak. I could breathe it. It's breathing a little bit heavy, but yeah, most of this is diesel. If you look down there, I'll do a little zoom in. It's that little, where is it? That little injector right there. That's the one we had the problem with, and I put a brand new one in. Obviously, we had to get the guy with the hydraulic press to remove it, and since then, the ball's obviously got a bit baggy. You could sort of argue you could get a new head for it, and it's just not worth it. For the price you can buy a second-hand engine with these things, that is really the sort of route we're gonna be taking. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed we can find a lump. Right, let's start her up. Oh yeah, she's chuffy. Yeah. We're on the road again. In the party van. We're doing another road trip, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> now we're not, luckily Lars only lives about 20 minutes away, so um, yeah, we're just gonna cruise up there now, have a little look at the Sora, get some cool wheels in it, that is the first Port of call. We're going to chuck my rays back on there and see what it looks like. I think it look much better than it does. The wheels aren't on it, aren't bad on it now, but it'll look much better with some nice JDM rims on it. Yeah. We've also got Jamie's 35mm over fenders in the back. If we get a chance, if Lars has got a rivet gun, we might be able to do a little on, yeah. off or up fit them, yeah. We can at least offer them up, see what it looks like. Yeah, because there is a bit of a weird lip on that rear quarter, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I can't actually remember what, what, what he's done to it, but yeah. yeah. It's like a serious flare going on. Yeah, so it'll either sit well nice in the moon, it won't work at all. Let's see what happens. Lars, Leslie Norm's brother, welcoming you to the channel, sir. Hi. As you guys can see, Lars has a beautiful backdrop to his workshop. Very, very pimp. In a second, we're going to get the car off and just start changing the wheels over. Lars has actually got a Land Rover on the ramp, which we're changing the clutch Master cylinder. cylinder. Yes. What do you think of British vehicles? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Uh, yeah. It's, it's shitty to, um, to work oh, on. Yeah. Yeah. Once he's finished on the Land Rover, we'll get the Sora into the workshop and start trying to do the um, the tow, the tracking, and the overfitness. Oh. Definitely looks a lot more aggressive. What size are they, Jay? So they're 35 mil? Yeah. Okay. Obviously the car's jacked up a bit so you guys can't see what it looks like when it's compressed but that should give you an idea on the look we're going for on the uh, back of the car. Rear wheel off, you guys can kind of see all the wise fab arrangement. New wheels are now on. They will be a little bit of a fitment issue. Obviously when we put the home panels on as well, they're not going to stick out quite as much. We will need to get a spacer. The one saving grace is these are ET12 and these are ET20 and they're both 9.5. So these will stick out a little bit more and make it look a little bit more aggressive to start with. Yeah. Definitely looks really nice. The fitment is horrendous. That's a rough idea on the rear, obviously temporary fitment. The fronts, we think we're going to struggle. 
with a 9.5 ET12. On the Wisefab website, I actually suggest maximum of uh, 9 inch and ET20. Yeah. And we're quite a bit bigger than that. As you guys see, the front wheel does stick out. It's all right when you go and lock that way, but when you go on the inside, it starts catching on here. And then Jamie, the other point is we don't really want to have a massively wide front and a thin back. Yeah. Um, so we can mess about with the back, try and get a bigger wheel on there once we start trimming the over fenders and messing about. But for now, we're going to chuck these eight inch wheels back on the front, just so we've got enough clearance to kind of do a skid in the next few days. Sora in Lars's workshop, just going to chuck it up in the air and see if we can kind of adjust the tow a little bit on the front just to get a drive in a little bit more straight. <laughs> look at that Samson S gearbox. That's the money shot right there. That really is the money shot man, look at that. Lovely bit of kit and very clean car underneath as well, chassis lovely condition. Kaz two weight LSD in there, that's all your wise fab. The car is really really clean, fair play to him. Crazy how much space here is yeah, you can for literally... mounting intercoolers, um, oil coolers. Yeah, We're just doing a bit of a ghetto geometry just to try and get the toe on the front because we noticed in the video yesterday the car was moving around quite a lot um, so yeah we're just going to kind of do a rough estimation of the toe and then we'll get it on a proper alignment range. that shows the measurements we're roughly about 11 mil um, out so yeah we're going to make a couple of little adjustments now and see if we can re-correct the toe five minutes later that's that one undone exactly the same thing on the other side nice one jamie they're pretty tight our ghetto alignment has turned out pretty good i think not Still very close. ghetto. <laughs> it's kind <laughs> of straight. The wheels are looking a lot straighter than they were before. And there is a drift event at Hocken, Hockenheim, Hockenheim on the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th of June. Yeah. yeah. So if we can't do the skids tomorrow, hopefully we can do that. I need to get you back, man, because you need to do a skid as well. Mr. 2010 BDC man. We're gonna leave the car here for now because Lars is very kindly gonna store it for us. Then we're gonna go and grab the Evo, take it for a little drive, get you some food because you're starving. Yeah. And then we're gonna bring the Evo around to Lars's and he's uh, gonna look at it and wank over it and do all sorts of weird shit. Because <laughs> he loves Evos, man. Check out that fiberglass bonnet, all the all the lightweights. It's not so mad about this car, is it? Like everything on it is pretty much fiberglass. It's, as far as making it as light as possible, you can't really sort of do much more. That's the body back on. Fucking hell, these two between them. Brainiacs. Dream team, You're mate. You two are the dream team, man. <laughs> Mr. Lars, love you man. Oh. Jamie K, you can stay here. Oh. <laughs> Look at this beast, an actual sapphire. That isn't fun. That's sapphire. She is a bit of a beast. These are cool though, you don't really see them in the UK anymore. There used to be loads of them, but they all got drifted and crashed and all sorts of madness. But look at that, proper lovely bit of Sierra. A few moments later. Jamie K, Yo. Evo, first, first remarks. Lumpy boy. Yeah man. It sounds sick. It sounds sick. I was talking with Ness the other day with this car. It's just so like usable. Jumping in this is so so user friendly. Yeah. And the only suspension is amazing, man. Fully kitted for, for track. A track like it's got the rear view camera, so you can see when someone's up your butt butt. And this. The wider. Massive wide. Thing rear view mirror. And it's got the track timer thing on the number plate. Yeah. Plinth. Roll cage. Um, bigger brakes. Endless brakes. Oh mate, next level. The brakes yeah. on this car are sick. Yeah. Which way is the rally stage then? Yeah, we just we just turn around and like gravel. Jamie was like rally and I was like, no. <laughs> I, 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 I want to do a rally in it, but it's such a nice car, man. It will get destroyed if we green lane uh, this. 
<laughs> Green Lane Evo. Yeah. Green Lane and Evo. And oh. Armist Canyon Evo. The only thing I do need to address is the clutch. Clutch isn't slipping, but the buying point is quite high. And um, HGA Evo Carney said if the clutch does start slipping or getting a bit weak, they'll put a new one in for me. So I can't complain. HGA for the absolute win. is a cushion I yeah. feel like it's a little bit hard the bottom of the seat yeah getting piles <laughs> Evo baby check that out lovely little cheeky picture make sure you do a little follow to your main man Mr Spunky London Jamie K as well and Lars he did a lot of help today didn't he Lars that's Lars and Jamie K it's a bit it's a bit Olin Z but <laughs> to be fair Olin's a sick man I mean yeah they are like they're not like super fucking soft obviously it doesn't ride like my Volvo which is like a magic yeah. carpet like, I mean, it's a track car. Yeah, but it actually does drive but sick drives on the road. On the road yeah. yeah, yeah. Where the f are we going, man? For the shut now. It's like driving off road. <laughs> If you love me, tell me now 